Hello Taurus gang, welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That's me, happy to have the Taurus squad out there with me, however you associate with that sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even Jupiter, because we are going to do your career and finances spread today. Um, just to be completely upfront and transparent, a lot of the messages I've been getting this time around, it hasn't had so much to do with um, like monetary numbers like it's not about the bank account it's about like the spiritual path so in advance i'm already anticipating these are going to be much more about like the road you're headed down versus like the am i gonna get a hundred bucks this month like it's that type of energy so you know all good if that's not what you're interested in you know feel free to check out another video another reader etc i'm gonna do my best to give you the messages uh but ultimately i have to have faith that the universe wants you to see what is presented here today so as always, ooh, as they pop out, hello, Empress. Beautiful card, and that's you, right? You guys get this card all the time, too, the Queen of Cups. Uh, you guys know my spiel. Um, here on YouTube, I do general messages. Not everything I say will resonate with all the Tauruses out there. Please come into this with an open heart and an open mind. Ultimately, you are always in the driver's seat. So please only take away the messages that resonate with you, that serve you in some capacity. You have beautiful cards coming up motivate you, inspire you, illuminate you to something you didn't see before, or confirm something that you were intuitively feeling, right? All right, so a few more cards, a few more shuffles for my Tauruses, and we will hop in. So career, money, finances, internships, jobs, retirements, payouts, anything that wants to come through for my Taurus gang out there, for my Tauruses. Your birthday's coming up, Taurus. Are you guys kind of excited? You know, find, you'll find a creative way to celebrate, I'm sure. My, my Tauruses, you guys know how to party, right? Real chill, like a real chill party, but that's not the worst, right? In fact, that kind of sounds nice. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hop in. All right, so bottom of your deck, there is a little bit of money struggle with, with the, the Five of Material, it's the Five of Pentacles, but under that is the Ten of Pentacles, so yeah, there's something waiting to... I'm always getting it's waiting to be present it's waiting to be presented to you. It's something is being orchestrated sort of behind the scenes, behind the curtain for anybody who works in, in like showbiz or the entertainment industry. This metaphor of it's it's being orchestrated behind the curtain and we haven't revealed it to you yet. I almost got something about a game show. Very interesting. So I, I don't know if that's a metaphor for something or if that's I don't know, a random confirmation for one or two of you who were ever, I don't know, on a game show. I I know random messages come through. Anyway, yeah, there's something being orchestrated for you behind the curtain, and then behind it, that is the King of Wands, so the boss of your career. Isn't this deck cool? They, uh, they're vertical and horizontal, but all the, um, all the kings, which is what this is. Uh, yeah, the King of Inspiration is the King of Wands, and then, yeah, you get your, you get your spark back. You get your energy. Um, something about this is you may be dragging your feet, and I'm not really getting so much laziness. It more has to do with feeling hopeless, feeling a little bit frustrated, feeling like maybe you had started progressing down a road and working on something, perfected your resume or put together a website or something to display your work, particularly if you were looking to find like a new home in terms of your workplace or your, you know, your office or move, you know, move to a different location. It could also be your physical home as well. But obviously with the whole COVID thing, there's, there's been some delays. And so I do sense that you're at a bit of a standstill and what you're looking for is that you're looking, I just heard you're looking for yes. You're, you're looking for the answer to be yes, you're going to get it. So if you're deciding between one or two things, or if you're waiting to hear back from two different opportunities, it's saying there's a stroke of good luck coming for you. And it does come in the form of like passion, creativity, energy, a job that potentially could be quite, um, endure a lot of like physical strength you know it doesn't necessarily have to be like a bodybuilder but i don't know if you would be like you know picking up shipments and doing that it could also indicate that there would be a lot of travel in this new opportunity that comes your way um but yeah there there is going to be the rejection of one so if you're waiting to hear back from two i am getting you're going to get one of them but the other one probably not that's sort of what's on on the opposite ends of these two um uh, sorry, of these two cards. Uh, yeah, so for anybody who relates to that message, maybe you've put some sort of offer on a house or something where it's like you've put your bid down or you've thrown your name in the hat to see if you would be considered. Again, I'm, I'm getting that one is probably not going to end in the best way. The other one, though, I think you will get. Um, so that's, that is very positive, but sort of a, a heads up that there might be a small disappointment and that one actually may come in first. The news of that disappointment may come in first, but it's almost like, uh, keep, keep, yeah, keep going along this trail because what's next, what's after this disappointment is the Ten of Cups. 
So in a money spread, that means income will be good again. Some of you may be moving closer to your family, particularly in like a less urban area. So for any people living in the city, you may choose, I don't know if rent is too expensive or, you know, whatever the situation may be. Maybe you decide to leave a job that, you know, they cut your hours so much it wasn't even worth it. It could be something like that. Yeah, a lot of you end up literally moving to seek greater income. And if it's not with literally your family, it's with people that you admire or would like to work with. So this could indicate moving to a new job where you're surrounded by like your soul tribe, your, your, you know, your friends, or also like your work family, like coworkers that there's, there's a lot of love. I'm getting like you guys, you guys really embrace one each one another and you embrace the, um, the differences that you all bring to the table. There's, there's I don't know, something about a collaboration here with like a soulmate. If there's someone, in, uh, I, okay, so this is sort of reminding me of the Capricorn reading, but in a slightly different way. If there's one job that you've held up on a pedestal of that's my dream job, you see it as almost like your soulmate job, it's your wish fulfillment. I gotta be honest, Taurus, for a lot of you, that looks really, really good. So I, I am wanting to say to you, if for some reason you're going after two jobs and you hear back, again, you hear back from one and you're just like, shit, like, God, dang, like, don't don't linger too long in that energy of lack of disappointment because you don't want to block your blessing because there's something that it's like either working at a dream job or with a dream partner or s there's some sort of empire or career here that is like an assured I, I use the word assured lightly but essentially to me there's like a victory there you you've conquered it you can now celebrate it people are congratulating you and looking up to you for your um for your strength, your achievement, your tenacity, these cards are bomb. Again, I'm being called to say maybe something with a family business or working alongside a sibling, working alongside your neighbor, working alongside someone who's like your brother or your sister. It could be your husband, wife. I'm not really getting that so much, but working alongside a best friend. If you guys have been working together, I just heard um, podcasts. So if, if you guys have been working on something maybe during this whole quarantine, it seems like you're going to catch a lucky break and something about that the, the pay grade will escalate or maybe you just get more recognition and notice for it. It's going to impact your career in a positive way. All right. Yeah, I, I want to uh, like highlight or underscore if money isn't great now. Yeah, I, I see it. But here's the thing, you have 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Cups, so no matter how much you may want to give up, don't. It's like you're already in this, you may as well keep walking. You may as well keep walking forward, just don't give up. And that could be why this card is coming up too. If it doesn't necessarily indicate a rejection from a company or a rejection of an offer you made you know, to apply to something, it could just be sort of indicating don't get stuck in a lower vibrational headspace where you're letting your thoughts win. Your negative, your darker thoughts, don't let those overpower you and cripple you. It's saying keep your vibe high, right? Keep, keep that magic wand vibrating high toward, towards the sky, channeling those messages from, from spirit, from something greater. If you are considering applying to a job, you should absolutely do it. Even if there's a lot of question marks about, oh, well, they're probably not hiring or this, like, don't, again, don't even think about that. You, you gain, or I'm sorry, you lose nothing by applying to something that excites you. Something that you potentially see as like a, a wish fulfillment job or the long term. It could be that with all this changing up of, oh, I have a hair in my mouth, I'm sorry. With all the changing up of the cycles going on, maybe they had to let go of some people in their company and they're going to be looking to rehire. Or the opposite, people may have had to leave the company to go take care of their family and so maybe a spot opens up, right? There's really beautiful things trying to grow. Um, and yeah, so I'm getting almost the metaphor of like a tombstone. So I take that to mean a couple different things. It's not bad, it's a good message. It's something about something set in stone. If you're very... Um, hell-bent on getting a job at, again, that, that dream career, at that dream job, don't give up on it, especially now. But there's also saying uh, something about people from this company are retiring, and that's what I'm getting at. There's, there's spots opening up. It's almost like they hang a plaque on the wall like, thank you so-and-so for your 10 years of service, but now we gotta fill the role, and that, that's where you come in, Taurus, like, uh, hi, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Taurus. I'd like a, I'd like a job, please. That will be one job. <laughs> that's cute. All right, so then let's look at this message. All right, my uh, male Tauruses who are seeking female companionship, you might have two people interested in you, particularly a water sign, actually potentially two water signs. There could have been a water sign that you broke up with, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, and another water sign wanting to 
connect with you, wanting to flirt with you. They've almost, uh, the idea of they've sealed their cup off because they're waiting for you. I'm not trying to read for love and romance, but that immediately, that message came through for some of you. So yeah, water signs are, are you're catching the eye of some water signs, Taurus, maybe on dating apps, maybe on social media. Um, <clears throat> and if it's not, again, if it's not re representing love, right? You could look at that through the lens of putting out applications or something like that. You may have people viewing you on like LinkedIn or looking at your profile, looking at your, I don't know, your resume, whatever that is. That's what I'm, I'm saying too with this. For a lot of you, I just, I'm gonna be really blunt with you. There's two that you have in mind. One is not gonna happen. The other one very, very likely will. And that's what I'm getting. The way these cards are positioned on my table here, you have one water sign looking at you, Taurus, the Empress, and you have another one that's walking the other way. That's essentially saying, thanks, but no thanks. So maybe it's romantic offers. If it's not, it's whoever would be impacting your money flow. Money is a currency, so cups being that. This one, I am almost getting, they've, they've been holding out for someone like you or they've been looking out for someone like you to join their team. So when you come along and kind of offer yourself as, oh, I could do that, I just heard case closed. It's like, we got to close the cup, like close the books. You hired, kid. This is really beautiful energy. So you might be working with a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, particularly a water sign who's very spiritual, very intuitive, very um, sort of psychic, in, in tune with sort of the, the planets, with the universe, a seer, right? Uh, you guys may have an instant click, an instant connection. and You, you like vibe on the same wavelength. You, yeah, there's something about there's a like a psychic connection between the two of you. <clears throat> it could also be another empress. It could be another Taurus or a Libra that, that again, romance or romance is like filtering into this. And I did not mean for that to happen at all. But as I'm looking at the bottom of your deck for my single Tauruses looking for partnership, that seems to be on the horizon for a lot of you as well. Yeah, because someone's been waiting for you a tremendous amount of time. And what's funny is from that message, I don't necessarily think you know this person, but they've been waiting for your type for quite some time. They've been waiting for someone to show up who has your resume, who has your employment history, who has your skills and background. It's like you're the missing piece to the puzzle. And that's what I mean. It's like case closed. We'll take Taurus. Like that's the one we've been looking for. And again, romantically, this person may have had a tough time in love. It could, again, be a water sign or maybe... Um, maybe an Aquarius or an Aries, though it doesn't have to be. It's almost like you fit the bill just right. You check off all the boxes. So this person is very excited and, and vying for your attention, but you seem to be overlooking it a little bit or not realizing what a good opportunity this could be. What is Taurus focused on instead? Oh, you're, you're, still, you're um, still caught up on the one that, that um, rejected or declined you. Yeah, you guys are caught up on something that even if it hasn't been, I hate to say this because it sounds so negative, but I, I have no reason to bullshit you guys, right? You may be caught up on like an ex that really, really put you through the ringer that you still had feelings for, somebody who broke up with you or rejected you, turned you down. Or again, if you're waiting to hear back from two job offers, it seems like you're more excited about one, but oh, sorry, don't shoot the messenger. That one, it, you have to look at it, it's a blessing in disguise. Initially, it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to feel like, oh shit, that was the one I really wanted. You have to look at it as a blessing in disguise. There's something to be gained by you going through this experience. And ultimately, it's like, if you release control of, of trying to, in, in, a, in a sense, release control of the situation, right? By trying to... Um, what is, what is the right term? Overly like manipulate or, sorry, that's not the right word, but here's what I'm getting at. You don't control your fate and your destiny only to a certain extent. Yes, we all have free will, but again, if there's an, two offers being sent out and you don't get one, you need to look at that as, okay, it's not what the universe wanted for me, because I promise that's gonna help shake you out of this lower vibrational energy a lot quicker than if you go into like the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, why me, why did this have to happen? It's because it wasn't worth your time. It wasn't a good fit. It wasn't a good match for you, right? So have faith that if the universe essentially puts up a wall and says, nope, not this one, Taurus, it's because you have something better even coming in. And here's what I mean by that. The paycheck at this other one might actually be better. And there's more creativity there. There's more, I'm getting like there's more love there. So again, this might be a romantic spread. The fool, this new beginning, this new job, this new relationship, I think you ultimately 
are stumbling into it with a queen, but you're fixated on the knight who has walked away. There's there's a power dynamic. There's a difference here, right? This one is more skilled in terms of like money flow. This one has more, but you're fixated on the one that's moving away from you. Um, so I know that's a little bit of a tough love message, but again, I'm, I'm just here to deliver the messages. So. <clears throat> So you could have been fixated specifically on a Pisces, but you may have a Cancer coming in. Yeah, this the one that's moving away from you, there's more to, to the situation that you fully understand. They're coming up as a false person. So again, that means it's it's false. It's, um sorry, it's wrong. It's not, again, it's not the good fit for you. It could also be a Leo. It doesn't have to be that, but uh, I'm just curious. So Queen of Cups, clarify Queen of Cups. There's something about the, the beauty and the ease at which this potentially new match or this new partnership comes together. You guys vibe, yeah, you guys vibe on the same uh, wavelength, the way these two cards are that bright golden yellow. This is like a million dollar opportunity in terms of some sort of bond or friendship that could last throughout the years. It could also indicate that you get the second bite you get on your line in terms of a job, I, I just think that one's going to be better for you. It's going to take you places, places, distant horizons. It may involve literal travel. And I was sensing that earlier with this. I keep wanting to say for a lot of you moving towards home, moving towards your family, it could be a city or a country that you grew up in. It doesn't necessarily have to be like where your family resides, but there's something about the idea of nostalgia. Uh, I, I say this very lightly, but the idea of going back to the past, it more has to do with a physical location. It would be going back to a lo location that you have visited before, if that makes any sense. And I am being called to say like the country. Like, you know, there, yeah, it, this doesn't feel urban to me at all. <laughs> All right, so then, yeah, uh, don't lose your hope. The worst thing you can do, like shoot yourself in the foot, is, is living in this very dark, negative state. You have to understand if something doesn't pan out, it's a blessing in disguise. Keep, keep going. Knight of Pentacles, right? The most reliable knight. It's not so much about speed with him. It's about getting it done right. Um, and that's what I mean, waiting for the right opportunity. Don't settle for the, the Four of Cups, right? You got the Ten of Cups that wants to come into you. So don't be fooled by this Knight of Cups, this offer that you saw it really going places. You saw this person as the love of your life. You saw this as the golden opportunity, the job of your life. You have some, I just, I gotta be real with you, Taurus. You have something so much better coming into you. And there's room for growth here too. She's a queen, so there's potential to grow into the king. There's room for this, for you to have a title change down the line or something like that. And if you're interested in a job that, that promotes travel, this would do that for you. There's something about this would, you may have to pay, take a pay cut in order to do this job. Even if you were to get it, I think you would quickly be disappointed. Or they don't treat you right. They don't value you at this job. So again, it's like, it was a blessing in disguise. There's like no big loss here by you actually not getting this opportunity. I just keep getting that over and over and over again. So then let's look at this line here. You have the magician. Okay, so you do have the six of uh, the six of cups. So nostalgia, going back to the past. I'm, I'm, I was sensing that, so I'm actually kind of happy to see it. The seven of cups and the nine of air. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, you're growing bored and antsy waiting waiting for communication from someone, but that communication is coming. Again, I'm, I'm reading for career, so potentially a bite on your line about an application you submitted. You are going to, I've said this to a lot, particularly to Capricorn, you need to honor your inner child. As you start applying to things or looking for opportunities, you have to ask yourself, it, are you fixated on the price tag, the salary that comes with it, or are you honoring your, your inner child by doing something that brings you joy every day? Waking up and getting out of bed because you're excited to go to work, you're excited to go do this thing. You're, maybe some of you want to work with children as well. A lot, a lot of metaphors of like a teacher are coming up to me, or even a, a nurse, or maybe it's a school nurse, right? <clears throat> You need to make sure you're considering what's going to make you happy in the long term and don't be fooled by um, the unpredictability of the way, something about the currency or the money flow. I'm, Yeah, there's something about, you may sign on to a contract or get a job where there's, there's some sort of stipulation about the money. That's very odd and I don't know what that would be, but it's something about 
you may get like this this um, sign on bonus, but then it's like all this like technical jargon that I think even you're confused about. Like, well, this will be deducted from your health benefits, but you can always apply it to next year's. And like, there's a lot of like, I'm almost getting like mathematics, like subtract the 50, carry the two. Like there's, there's something about a, a contract and that might even be with this one too, where even if you decide to take it, you quickly realize, ooh, I kind of shot myself in the foot on this one. Like this is not what I anticipated it being. The one that's either working with children or true to what you wanted to do as a child or, again, just honoring that, um, the innocence of wanting to do something simply because you enjoy it, not focus so much on the, the price tag of it. And I realize not everybody has the luxury to do that right now, right? I'm not coming down on you. I'm not judging you. I'm not trying to be like this, um, like preach things that aren't practical. I understand like it's a pandemic. You gotta you kind of got to take the jobs you can get. But I'm saying if you do have choices and it, appear, it appears that a lot of you Tauruses will or do, you might want to consider thinking long term what is going to make you the happiest because that in itself allows your bank account to grow and develop over the years where money will be just fine. It's almost like you have to start with what makes your heart happy because the universe will want to match that cup in terms of happiness and income. Whereas if you do it the other way, you might find a job that pays you a lot. But again, there's something about the contract or the like the negotiations of this other job. I'm getting the salary is better, but it's, it's kind of not. It's, it, I don't even know how to express it to you other than there's a lot of like read the fine print because you may think you're signing on to something that is the million dollar deal when really it's not. There's a lot of like little just like nitpicky things about the contract. Well, oh, you don't get that bonus until the second year that you've become the senior. Like there's there's something wacky about that. Anyway. So with the seven of emotions, yeah, it's honoring the emotions you feel. It's the assessment card of the emotions of where you stand. For a lot of you, this does involve working with a Pisces. And I, and I love me, my Pisces gang. This is no shot against them. Sorry, cross watchers. But there's something literally fishy about working with a Pisces. That's, that's being presented to me very clearly here. It, it, there's something about the longevity here. It might not last as long as the other one does because maybe this is a maybe this is a startup or maybe this I, you know and it doesn't have to be a Pisces, but there could be something about this deal, this negotiation and contract where there's all this fine print and there's all these kind of like loopholes. This person may be a little bit greedy and may have like a shoddy reputation in terms of how they treat their employees. And so I'm just getting even if the first year is great, there, there might be even like a court case or something that crumbles because there was something about like em employee, um, like I'm just getting like discrepancies. Like, yeah, like they, they fixed the, they fixed the numbers or something like that. Hold on. Help me with this spirit. I'm not being out, uh, eloquent here, but yeah, something about a court case or a trial for like, <laughs> Like employees have complained about this person. A civil suit or something. Yeah, Five of Swords, there's head games at this other job. Very interesting. And it, again, it might involve working with a Pisces, though it doesn't have to. It could also involve an Aquarius. A lot of you are, are going to hear the ding of your phone either very late at night or very early in the morning. And you're gonna be in like a very groggy state. It may be because you haven't been sleeping well. And, and so I don't know why this is being relayed to me the way it is, but it's going to be a positive call or a positive text from the other option that you thought you didn't get. For some reason, you may have written both of these off as, ah, oh, shit, like, you know, I didn't get them, but you are going to get at least one and you're going to be happy about it. And I'm going, I'm getting something about if it's not the call of, hey, you're hired. There's something about an intuitive hit you get almost when you're in like twilight sleep. It's either as you're falling asleep or as you wake up in the morning, whatever that state is considered to be. I think that's called twilight sleep, right? You may get a message from like your spirit guides or your guardian angels and there's some sort of like, something happens. There's some sort of click that puts your mind at ease and it puts to rest this anticipation of like, uh, whatever you're fearing, uh, like the unknown, there's some sort of, yeah, fear or anxiety going on in your subconscious because you don't know where you're going to be in three weeks or three months or something like that. You get some sort of message while you are sleeping. It makes me think of that movie. 
<laughs> I'm not going to go there. Anyway, you get some sort of message while you're at rest or sleeping, and I'm just getting it's a victory. It puts your mind at ease regarding your finances. Very interesting. And again, I'm being called to say like the soulmate job, which is what we were saying over here. Your wish fulfillment to end up in a job where there's ease and creativity and a good, a good network of friends, people you enjoy working with. That's what's trying to come into you. I mean, these look like very successful cards to me. I got to be honest. Why the magician? Oh, well, keep manifesting. That, that's pretty obvious to me. Keep thinking about what it is that you want and manifest it. Yeah, because it's going to be this offer. If you, again, I, I, I hammered it home a million times, you have two things that you're particularly excited about. Just because one may drop off or just because you're questioning one or the other, keep working on them both, right? It would be nice to have options in terms of what you go with. But there's a really beautiful offer that I think most of you are going to get. So again, don't give up. You know, keep going. Knight of Pentacles, that, that's like your, your elemental, that earth knight, right? Keep, keep walking the path because you have something really beautiful coming in, but you can't just drop it. You can't expect things to just fall into your lap. You do have to manifest them. You have to like conjure it up and, and, and work for it a little bit. And vocalize what it is that you want. Maybe in a, in a really like skillfully written like cover letter or in your resume. Make sure, yeah, it's like all the tools on your table, all your work history or what you can offer to the company. Make sure you're expressing that. It would be foolish not to. It, it would be... Yeah, there's something about if you're going to go ahead and apply to it, like knock it out of the park, send a, a I don't know, a video sample, send, like, it's almost like really woo this person. If you really want it, put in the extra time and effort into that resume because, yeah, like your magic, the skills that you have could really complement or benefit this, this pairing, this partnership, this, this work thing. So yeah, when you come in, come in with all the bells and whistles because I do think you're going to get a fresh start with them. That's sort of what I'm getting with that. You have the fool twice. And again, there's a, there's a nice little collaboration here. So even if you're brought into a company in general, I, this is a cute message, but it's almost like you're going to have a work bestie. Maybe they're bringing on two new people at once and you guys are like the newbies or you guys are like the interns. And together, there's a really beautiful bond and friendship that forms. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of your deck. Love it. Do you have the king? Yeah, you did. Okay, you have a divine pairing. That's what I mean. And it doesn't have to be male and female. You can toss the gender out. But this might be a love relationship for you, Taurus. It's looking really good with another Earth sign, another Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or at minimum, a work pairing, a work partnership where, yeah, you guys make magic together. Particularly if you do something in the home or uh, event planning or something about a castle. Maybe it's like a theme park or, or yeah, something like that. Actually, you got a really positive message, Taurus. I'm, I'm into that. Let's throw a couple of these on it. For my Taurus is out there. Or something about a vineyard or, uh, yeah, I don't know what that would be. Or culinary type stuff. That would make sense for you, Taurus, right? All right. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be too serious. Honor that inner child, right? Oh, you got too many, but we'll take these. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Keep that vibe high. Keep that vibe high, baby. That's, that's going to help you. And then protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Yeah, and I do want to kind of tie this to the idea some of you are still holding on to an ex, and it may actually be blocking your love or your romantic life. Um, yeah, you need to transition into a new cycle. And yeah, some, again, something with an earth sign, it's going to be really important for you. And yeah, so I mean, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles twice. So, you know, it doesn't present as the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you know, in your life when they offer it to you. But there's a big sum of money attached to something that is your fairy tale ending. Something about a fairy tale castle. I don't know if this is potentially someone you're going to be planning a wedding with. Are you planning weddings like an event planner? Something about like a fairy tale, princess, castle, like, I, yeah, I just keep being called to say fairy tale. Are you writing children's books? Like it, something about that is important. All right. Last but not least, we'll throw one of these on it for my Tauruses. I'm happy you guys got a good one. This, this actually looks really beautiful. But I do understand that money right now probably isn't great. I, I do sense that. Don't sink deeper into your emotions and your depression. Go outside. G gain a deeper perspective on it. Spend time in nature, in your natural element, in the earth. Bury your feet in the dirt or the sand or wherever you are, in the water, right? There's something very nurturing and healing about being just in, in planet earth as a, as a Taurus. That's important. Artist, engaging in activities, or I'm sorry, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. And then support, your life purpose fully supports you. Beautiful. 
All right, Taurus babies, please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonates. Guys, I am so close to hitting my target of 2,000 subs. So if you haven't already subscribed and you could do that for me, I would truly appreciate it. You don't have to hit the no notification bell, the little wiggly bell. Um, but yeah, if you could at least subscribe, that would be an amazing exchange of energy and you would help me reach my goal this month. All right, I will see you guys soon. Bye and happy birthday.